Hello everyone, Thomas Hyman here with uh, today's uh, Key to Success Minutes. Uh, this might be a little bit longer program, but probably one of the most important video that I have uh, recorded in a long time. And I'm going to share with you a true personal story that um, I hope will inspire you and give you some ideas as to how critical it is to follow a certain process when it comes uh, to goal setting. Again, my name is Thomas Hyman. I live in the Sarasota, Bradenton, Florida area. I'm originally from Germany, and uh, I consider myself somewhat of a serial entrepreneur. In the early 90s, I got involved in technology and started a number of internet companies, some that became very, very successful. And about 13 years ago, I got into real estate. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Realty Partners, plus I have some real estate investment companies. And goal setting, really has always been a critical uh, component to my success. You know, I, I come from a, a very poor background, so I wasn't given anything, uh, per, you know, so to speak. And um, I remember a time back in the, uh, in the late 80s when I first got exposed to personal development and to goal setting. At that time, uh, this was in 1988, I was living in Tampa in an area called Hyde Park, and I worked at a restaurant in downtown uh, Tampa, and um, I would walk to and from work because I didn't have a car at the time, and I was just exposed to Tony Robbins and his book, Unlimited Power, and uh, the things that I applied from that book truly dramatically changed my life. Uh, one of the first things that I did was is to get really crystal clear on what I wanted for my life, and uh, part of that, I had a list of about 15 goals, and one of those goals was I have a brand new car, and uh, which was a major goal to me because at the time I was walking literally 30 minutes to work and 30 minutes from work. And so what I did is I had that list of 15 goals, and, um, and I would read it out aloud, or you know, I, I had memorized it. Um, I would speak it out aloud as I was going to work over and over and over again. So as you can imagine, if you have 15 uh, goals and you say it over and over again as you're walking to work, and then again as you're walking home at night, I repeated those affirmations. I am and I have, um, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of times. And uh, things started happening in a very, very short order of time. I had a girlfriend and uh, I did have a driver's license. And so she went out of town on vacation for a few days and she uh, loaned me her car and said I could use her car for a few days, which was great. And um, as I was driving to work, I heard a radio commercial and the commercial said, uh, you know, walk in and drive out. It was a Toyota dealership in Brandon, Florida, which is just outside of Tampa. And, uh, and I got excited, you know, no credit, bad credit, didn't matter, just walk in and drive out. And at that time, I had zero credit. So uh, I took my girlfriend's car and I drove out there to the Toyota dealer. And um, I talked to them. I explained to my situation. I'm working at this restaurant, blah, blah, blah. I was a young kid at the time, obviously. And, um, and the sales guy sold me um, a car. It was a Pontiac Fiero black uh, two-door mid-engine car. I mean, this is like a poor man's Ferrari. It had a T-top. And I was so excited. I, you know, I took it home. I polished it. I waxed it. I, you know, uh, took a couple little trips, and I was on cloud nine. I mean, these goals were working. And uh, so I was driving to work and continued to repeat uh, the rest of the goals. And then about a week later, I got a phone call from the car dealership, and they said, "Mr. Hyman, we're really sorry, but we weren't able to get you financed, and uh, so we need you to bring the car back to the dealership." And um, I mean, my spirits were just shattered at that point. And I mean, I was so depressed. You can, you know, you can imagine. So I'm driving to Brandon to drop off the car, and um, the guy gives me my my $500 down payment deposit that I made back. And uh, I had no idea how the hell I'm going to get back to Tampa um, because this is like a 40 minute drive by car. And as I'm walking down the driveway onto Alamo Drive, which is the main fair where the car dealership is located. I'm literally like 
almost down at the street, some young saleswoman comes after me and fo follows me and says, wait a second, wait a second, you know, is there anything, you know, I can help you with that? Were you looking for something? And I mean, my head was down and I was depressed and I'm like, nobody can help me. And uh, what do you mean? You know, we got all sorts of programs and, um, and I said, well, you know, and I explained to her the situation, what had happened. And, um, and she looked at me and her eyes lit up and she says, well, you know, the reason is because the car that you had was a used car. And uh, we have some great first time buyer programs, but they only work with new cars. See, I've been working and talking to the used car dealers and they were trying to sell me this used car. It was a, you know, three year old Pontiac Fiero. And this woman, as I literally was out down on the street, ready to go, walk home to Tampa, came to me and said, you know what? The reason was because it wasn't a new car. And sure enough, uh, she put me into a brand new car, better payment. Uh, it was a Toyota, a little Toyota, also black. And, uh, and I drove home in a brand new car. And as I was driving home, and you know, all these emotions, you know, come, you know, start flooding uh, through me, this roller coaster that I just went through. I realized my goal was not um, that I will have a car or that I will have a used car. My goal was very specific that I will have a brand new car. And the universe or whatever you want to call it made it happen. So it wasn't, I wasn't supposed to have a used car, I was supposed to have a brand new car. And when I realized that a light went up and um, since that time, every single one of those goals on my list came true. And I created that habit of just literally every day uh, reading those incantations and repeating them over and over again and, 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 and reviewing it. And um, I'm telling you that because I know for a fact that it works and I've gotten lazy too. You know, Tony Robbins says there, there are two things that will drive people to change. One is inspiration, one is desperation. At that time it was desperation because I mean, I was down as low as I could possibly be. So, I absorbed, you know, that knowledge and those tips and I did it and I did it, you know, all out. Now, once you achieve some success, you tend to become comfortable and, and I have my goal is still too, but this is a reminder to myself right now that I need to get back into repeated daily incantations and affirmations as opposed to just looking at it once in a while. Because that's what most of us do. Most of us write a list of goals and then we look at it once in a while and we're too busy watching television or doing work or whatever it might be or playing sports or going to the theater or to the movies that, you know, six months go by and it's like, oh, oh, here are the goals, let me look at it again. Um, in order for them to really work, you have to totally internalize them. You have to absolutely just become them. You have to visualize it as if it's already there and incantations, which are, you know, affirmations that you repeat over and over again with emotional intensity. I am this, I have this, uh, as if it's already accomplished, not I want to, but I, I have this, I drive a brand new car. Uh, if you do that and you do it with intensity and you do it over and over again, uh, miracles will happen. And again, um, in those days when I was working to and from work, literally repeating these 15 uh, goals over and over again as I'm walking 30 minutes to work and coming back 30 minutes from work. Uh, I planted some seeds that really changed my life in, 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 in ways that back then nobody could have ever imagined. I could have not imagined it. So hope you got some, uh, some value out of this. Um, you know, please reshare it. I'm going to put it onto my YouTube channel as well, uh, which is at youtube.com forward slash Thomas Hyman, all one word, and um, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll try to put out a, a keys to success thought or minute every day or so. And um, if you have any questions or need any help, please feel free out to uh, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'm Thomas Hyman, coming to you through Periscope, and I hope you're having an amazing day.